Any collection of words could be more expressive or meaningful than thanks. There's Henry. He's going. He's in the 30. Bravery we have given all, for who can ask more of a man than giving all within his span? They are alone atop the mountain. The Bruins are national champions. After we beat NC State in, in a shootout, you know, we're extremely excited first and foremost to be in the national championship game. Uh, you know, we had a team that was extremely talented, we obviously having a big time goalkeeper in Brad Friedel, having Mike Lapper, Ray Fernandez, Tadiani, uh, Dan Beanie. We had, uh, to me, the most talented back four in the country and then we had wingers and Chris Henderson and Kobe Jones that were great two-way players. Well, Rutgers, they, they too had a very talented team. Their goalkeeper, Bill Andraki, uh, Alexi Lawless, um, they had uh, Steve Rommel up top and so they were a really talented team and we knew uh, about their players. A lot of us had played on national teams. Uh, you know, you saw the beginning of the Olympic team and going into the final. Uh, we were extremely confident in our ability to to keep possession of the ball. Uh, we had to change the system a little bit because unfortunately in the semifinal, Ray Fernandez received a red card. And so it changed our group a little bit, but because we were so plugged into what we were doing, we we're so plugged in into what our individual roles and responsibilities were, we had a real intrinsic understanding of what needed to be done against Rutgers. We knew that we were a team that wanted to score goals. We absolutely played the game, both the semifinal and the final, to score goals. And so you do feel a little bit of pressure because one mistake at the end of the game could, could lead to you losing the game. You know, we had, had obviously won um, the first semifinal against NC State, and we uh, scored each of our PKs, all five of our shooters shot. Uh, the only change that was made in the five shooters was, was I was added to one of the five shooters. And so um, I was a freshman at the time. Uh, I gained a lot of confidence from the game that I had. I, was, I, th I thought I had one of my better games of the season. I was really confident by the way I performed. As a right-footed kicker, you usually like to go where you keep the ball angling towards, towards the goal. And uh, sometimes you go to the right, sometimes you go to the left. But uh, for some reason, I decided to go to the goalkeeper's left, to go to my right. I just felt like I had um, a better opportunity to score. And so I chose to go to my right, and to, to, the honest truth was at first when the ball starts to sail a little bit, thinking, oh no, I might be going over the bar, but fortunately it tucked underneath the bar and uh, we were champions. Well, when you win the national championship, there's so much just pure joy and excitement and satisfaction to be the best uh, at, at anything in life and to be uh, the national champions in, in men's soccer, you know, it's a tremendous feeling. And, and more so because you're doing it with, uh, with some of your best friends, you're doing it with your extended family, you're doing it for a school that you love, and, and winning the national championship in 1990 really was, was something that was life-changing for all of us, for everyone that represented UCLA soccer, from our coaches, our training staff. It's something that we'll never forget, and you know, I was fortunate to, to be the one to kind of put a book, book in to winning that game by uh, being chosen to, to take the final penalty kick, and, and uh, like I said, I was really happy that I was able to convert it. That's probably my most memorable moment.